Hello and welcome back to another to another Python tutorial, where I will be gonna where I will be going through with you how to do a compliments generator using a series of nested if statements like the one you see on the screen, which I'm going to take out because I'm going to take you through it bit by bit. But before we do that, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you can get notifications on my next video. So without further ado, I am gonna go into how to do a compliments generator using Python programming. So, to begin, this is what we would need to do. So, we will need something like, ooh, let's say compliments. So think of the best compliments we've ever had. So we could have something like a variable, string variable, like, Ooh, what variable could we come up with today? So we could have something like Okay, so we're gonna do a print statement. Say what it is. Compliments generator. Okay. So that so we can do any old compliments generator we want. So let's say, best compliments you could think of, we could do another print statement saying welcome. So first one we could have, we could have a variable like, we could call that say to her, because particularly men who want to go into like relationships, don't know what to say, don't know what to say to that girl that they really like. I'm going to give you some pointers on what some of the things you could say to her. So I can say, say to her, input, would you like to say something to her? So we need to have if say to her is equal to y, which is yes. Or we can bring in some logical operators like or say to her equals y, or say to her is equal to all uppercase yes or say to her is equal to all lowercase yes and so on so if it's any of those we could print something like great let's get started so we could have something like name equals input, so we could say, enter your name here. Do you follow? That's how we could do it so far. However, we will need to take into account else. So you might want to say, else, hold on, and then print. Okay, so something like that. Okay, maybe next time. So that's what we could have here. Okay, but say assume that we want to have the name. So, so say the word, and then you could have a variable called complement and enter your complement here. So, or what we could have instead is enter your complement here out of the following options. So we could say, you look absolutely beautiful today. That could be one. Backslash n, backslash t. So we're making a new line and we're indenting it. You could also say, I could not help but admire, admire your beauty. That can be number two. And then what we could have, so we can have number three, so it could be something like, hello, how are you? Something as simple as that, just to break the ice. Okay, so with a compliment, we could do int input to get the user 
to type in a 1 or a 2. So we could say if complement is equal to 1, we could do print. The girl will most likely smile at you and say thank you. Elif, two. Same as number one. But a girl will likely say thank you and smile at you. That's another one. So your elif, oh, I should have put compliment. And then we could have something like. If you don't know what to say, compliment wise, you might say the girl may say they are fine or may not feel like speaking at the moment. Bit of com commonality, really. Or else, if you really want to go in there, you might say, Cheeky, aren't we? Well, we obviously are. And then you could say, what else? Then we're going to have input. So what else? So another one we can have is, if, what else? Equals something like, Or we could do, instead of that, we could do input, int, input, and give some options, couldn't we? So we could have if or else is one. We could have, oh my, because I'm going to do t, but actually one. Kiss the hand. That is something I've done, done lots of times. And it does work to a certain extent. I've done that a lot, done this a lot in college, and famously one day when I was in university. So you might want to say kiss the hand after shaking it, and you might want to just say here shaking it, and that is it. So, so oh my, you might want to say. In Britain, in the United Kingdom, you don't really see a lot of that. The boys watching might might call you a might call you a puller, just like with me calling me pulling instead of bullying. If you get what I'm, if you get my drift. Else might want to say boring. Okay, so that could be a nice little compliment generator there. Like a little, I think of it as like a little love version of an expert system. So let's say I'm going to do nope. Yeah, maybe next time. So, right. okay. Let's try another one. Okay, so I'm going to say yes. Okay, let's get started. So my name is Dan. And in a compliment here, I would say, yeah, I would go for number two because that's true. Yeah, go will likely say that, which is not a problem. But let's say I want to go a little bit further. So I'm going to do yes. Okay, maybe next time. Which should we say no it equals yes, which should say let's get started. Yep, let's get started. Dan, so I'm gonna say number three. Girl may not want to speak at the moment. But I just want to get into number bloody four. So which I am. So I'm just gonna say why. I'm going to say damn, and I'm going to say number four. 
Right, number one, my favourite. Kissed her hand. Woo, my. Yeah, you don't get much of that in the United Kingdom. But, so what I've done here, yeah, so I can remember one time, first day at university, saw a beautiful, beautiful young lady from Bulgaria, and let's just say, went up to her, met her, started the small talk and all that, and then once I shook her hand, kissed her hand, and she went beat red. Let's put it that way. And I won't say too much more than that on that, sto on that little story, because it's a family video. Okay. Yeah, and hence, you could say my nickname, Hullen, instead of Bullen. Bullen spelt B for banana, U-L-L-E-N, not a P for pear. Okay. And this is a compliment generator. So I got the print statement, done a variable say to her, done a load of conditions. To, so if those, any of those conditions are met, go into there, ask for the name, ask for a selection of compliments. And then if it's any of those, any of those compliments is gonna go into those. If it doesn't meet any of those conditions, it's going to go into the else. And what else is there? Yep, fine. Kiss the hand, which is my favorite one. Else. Boring. And this sort of code you can put up in a replica yourself. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my compliments generator program in Python using variables, inputs, outputs, if, elif, else, and nested if and else statements. So please be sure to hit that like and please also remember to hit that subscribe button and another way to subscribe is to just click on this link which is below each video I place and if you like my content and you want to find out more about what I do I've also got an online course called Introduction to Computer Systems on the Udemy website so you just need to click on, click on it and there we go. So this is my online course, Introduction to Computer Systems. So this is the landing page for that course. So in it, you will learn. So these are some of the things we'll learn, like explaining the role of the central processing unit, describe the components of the CPU, provide an introduction to assembly language, which is low level programming, explain the factors that affect the performance of the central processing unit, and I've also put in a, another bit that I'm interested in, the physics of overclocking the CPU, which may, may be develop an interest in electronics and also physics. So there's a lot, to, so there's a lot more to it than even I realized, than we realized. So this is the course content. So you've got computer systems, so I'm introducing you to it. Then I'm going into the different forms of architecture and assembly language. Then I'm going into the factors that affect it and the physics of overclocking the CPU. And then I'm going into logic, so combinational logic systems, making the logic gates, sequential logic systems, semiconductors. Then I go into all things binary, where, where we introduce you to number systems, all the way down to doing binary and sound, images and text. And then finally we got input and output devices and the different forms of storage so that's where memory will come in and then my assessment is basically one big quiz of 30 questions so you don't need any knowledge to do this course all you need is a computer with stable internet connection so that's all you really need there and why you should do the course well whatever i don't know i'll go out and learn it so the way my brain is wired is I'm on the autism spectrum, so it will be an asset in helping you get through the online courses that we provide. So we understand how to explain things in simple terms due to my teaching background. So you could think of us as a real life version of, say, Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory, minus the rudeness, or a C3PO, but without the glitches. So I'm on the autism spectrum. So we're on the autism spectrum and have a rough idea on how to talk to talk to them and relate to them. And my teaching style is that style I've crafted and one that works in a way that some people don't get. If they only had tuition in the classroom, 
or just want to stu or just want to study the subject a lot more. So this course provides you with the opportunity to go further than you were in the subject that you want to pursue. So, so those are some of the reasons why you should you should consider buying this online course because once you buy it, it's yours for a lifetime. For some of my videos, I will go through programming tasks. So if you want to do these yourself, I have put a REPL link below on my programming videos. So you just click on REPL. And this is what you need if you haven't signed up at all. So you just click sign up. If you've got an account, you just click log in. And once you've logged in or signed up, this is the page that will appear. So if I was to log in right now, this is the page. So this it will appear. So that will be the page there. And in addition to all that, I am also a private tutor where I offer my private tutoring services specializing in ICT and computer science. And I look forward to you coming to me for lessons. Goodbye for now.